I'm so bored. I think I will watch TV. Everyone, can you please just drink your V8 juice? We just made it 10% less disgusting. Which isn't that much less disgusting. So it still tastes super disgusting and you still won't be able to get your 9 year old kid to willingly drink it. V8. Now 10% less disgusting. Oh come on. V8 is the only drink I have ever liked in my life. Now I can't like V8 juice anymore because it's not as disgusting anymore. I think I will get a job at the V8 headquarters. Hello Rosie. Nice to meet you. What interests you at a job at V8 today? I saw your V8 ad and I didn't like it. Well, here at V8, we like to look at employees who think different than the competition without contradicting those that came before you. Like, you can't make V8 less disgusting. Do you think you like that? I would like to make V8 so disgusting that if we didn't pay off the government, it would be banned for being disgusting. Well, congratulations. You're hired as CEO and I quit. A tip from me is expect a lot of hate letters because I have more hate letters than I have pennies in revenue. So, Rosie, I just looked at the pie chart and I noticed sales are down by half a penny since we made the V8 less disgusting. Then we must make V8 20 times more disgusting than it ever was before. Um, I don't really know about that because this is the biggest increase in how disgusting it was in V8 history. Last time, we made it more disgusting. A vegetable-hating arsonist burnt the headquarters down. If the V8 juice itself wasn't made in a separate factory, we would have gone out of business. And in the city laws, we would just have to make the juice at the headquarters. Listen, I just want to be able to pay my bills, and I can't be a part of a company that doesn't make the most disgusting veggie drink in the world. Okay? Okay, but how about we only make it four times more disgusting? Hello. I'm Rosie. I am the new V8 CEO, and I didn't just come into V8. I came into V8 with a mission. And that mission is to make everyone hate us and our drink. From the vegetable-hating arsonists. To the veggie lovers. To the help nots. To the most unhealthy eaters in the world. From babies. To toddlers. To small kids. To big kids. To teens. To young adults. To older adults. To seniors. To seniors so old they remember a time where V8 juice didn't exist yet. No matter who you are. My wish to you is that you can't willingly drink this. When you drink this I want you to hate this drink so much that you tell everyone you know not to try it but they try it anyway and they do the same to their friends and they will warn their kids they don't want to drink it because their taste buds will be permanently damaged but they try it anyway. So that's why we are making V8. Four times more disgusting. If this isn't as disgusting as can be called this number on your screen. We will make this more disgusting. And if you think it's too disgusting then we will not make it less disgusting. And in our efforts to make V8 as disgusting as possible, we are discontinuing any variation that might taste somewhat okay including V-Fusion. If it's not disgusting, it's not V8. If it's not V8, you're lucky in more ways than one. Well Rosie, the good news is that the advertising campaign has worked. And the sales have gone up to one trillion. And, you know, the bad news is the veggie arsonists have gone ahead and ruined all the vegetables and given V8 a very bad name. And I am quite allergic to not working at V8, so that's kind of an issue. I will buy the government and make it illegal to not drink V-juice and to hate it. Can I buy the government? No. Are you sure I can't buy the government? Mm, let me check. No, you can't buy the government. Can I give you this go but to own the government? Okay, I guess, but if anyone asks, this never happens. Bugfat. Doris. Why is there V8 Legos everywhere? We both agreed we hated V8 juice. We agreed that our way of life would be to hate on V8. Boris? Did you not watch the news last night? V8 bought the government and because of it all televisions and radios have to have the V8 logo on them at all times. Well we just got our food stamps. 
Can we go to the stop and shop? Well, at least V8 ISNT controlling that aspect of our lives yet. I thought this was the stop and shop. Boris, can you stop complaining about the V8 store how it's not stop and shop and just go in? Welcome to aisle V8 where you have plenty choices. No trees is not let of choices. The only thing in this entire store is V8. What are you talking about? There are plenty of choices. We got one year expired V8 juice. We got V8 juice that will expire in 5 minutes and we got V8 juice that expired before the 1800s. Okay Mr. Storm Poli. I know the majority of the customer base was essentially born yesterday. But I wasn't born yesterday and I know there was a time where everyone had a choice between V8 juices and anything but. You're crazy. There was never such thing as options. Ever since the beginning of time there has only been one thing you can put in your mouth that's edible. And that has always been V8. Hey. You can't bring that here. What can't I bring here? Boris. I wasn't born yesterday. I know you are bringing something that doesn't exist. What do you mean it doesn't exist? I'm holding it right in my hands. It's called a burger. It was one of the best things ever till V8 monopolized the food and drink industry. What? There was a time where you could eat something that tastes good? Can I please try? Sure. I have a whole bunch of them. They're called cheeseburgers. You used to be able to buy them at places like McDonald's, Burger King and Wendy's. Oh my god. You're right this is great. Can I please have some more so I can share them with the rest of my workforce? Everyone tried and loved the burgers. Now they're at Rose Ears office. Alright sales are up by a trillion percent. We are also going to bulldoze 10 neighborhoods to open more expired V8 retail stores. I think it was a good choice switching to expired V8 juice. We are all going to quit working at V8. We finally found something that tastes good and it's called cheeseburgers. And while we got an infinite supply of cheeseburgers that aren't expired or disgusting unlike V8 juice. But we have chosen we can't be working for V8 anymore. We also got a surprise visitor. I recommend you get out of the building. And before you ask. This will change government ownership status. You will not see the visitor and this can and will make the news. Alright Boris the first saw you do this last time. Now I want you to do this again. I want you to burn the headquarters down. And hopefully it won't be built back up again. Yes. I burned down the V8 headquarters again. This is the second time I did this and I haven't been this happy since the first time I burned down the building. I have burned down the building two more times than most people can say. So Karen you were the assistant CEO at V8 and despite sales being higher than the International Space Station V8 is going out of business. Do you know why that is exactly? Well Casey this wasn't supposed to happen. But another vegetable hating arsonist has burnt down the headquarters. Despite all the money we have made with the V8 juice, it seems as if it would cost more money to build the headquarters back than we will make in a lifetime. Well, thanks, Karen. And I just found out that police won't investigate the matter at all simply due to the V8 being disgusting. We also had an exclusive interview with the original CEO who quit about an hour ago who declined to be named and he said quote unquote I love what the new CEO did to V8 and she would have been even better if the headquarters wasn't burnt down. There will be no charges pressed against anyone but the last CEO was Rosie Anderson who sold the government back to its rightful owner. But Karen how are you dealing with not working at V8 anymore? Well I have said it in the past but I am allergic to not working at V8. Despite that I am handling it very well with a combination of allergy pills and holding classes where I teach people about V8 Monopoly. Oh, 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 Rosie, how dare you be the leader of the V8 Monopoly? Tax it. You're grounded, 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 grounded for three, two, nine, eight, one, four, seven, seven, three, six, four, eight, two, one, six, four, eight, nine years and you will never drink any V8 ever again. Go to your room now.